Hi, everybody, and welcome back to SSR TV, where we talk about real issues that affect your health and happiness. Today, we're talking about superfoods, and we have a really great guest today. Liz Greenlaw is an integrative health and nutrition coach. So today we're talking about superfoods, and we see so much on the internet and TV. We've got dragon fruit, mung beans, acai, goji berries, and all these expensive things that you know you can't find everywhere. And people are confused about, you know, what what should they be eating to get the most nutrition out of their diet? So I'm really glad to have you break it down for us today. So I can't wait to hear your tips. Well, all right, thanks, Lauren. So first to start off, I do want to make it a point that. Keeping it simple is honestly the best strategy. Um, it's how I coach my clients. Um, like you said, we hear a lot of marketing buzz, um, you know, a lot of things in super, you know, supermarkets and even health food stores about some of these you know, different foods that we can barely even pronounce their name. Um, and I pick up a container of that, and it's about $14 in the store. Wow. Um, so what I want to talk about today are some you know, just, just super foods that can really, super in the sense that they give you you know, beneficial nutrients, they make you feel just vibrant and healthy without having to break the bank. And you can find them in, you know, your, you can go to a local grocery store, a market, or, you know, even farmer's markets, which I'll talk about in a little bit. So my two favorite bee foods, uh, the berries and the beets. So berries are soups. Um, and also high in fiber and vitamin C. And now when I say berries, this includes things that, you know, we're pretty used to, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, things that we actually have access to. You don't need to go and spend a crazy amount of money on some crazy berry um, that you've heard about on the internet. Um, these sure. things are super high. Like I said, vitamin C is one of, it's a potent antioxidant. And really what that means is it helps to minimize and take out of our system free radicals. And free radicals are basically just things that float around our bloodstream that can wreak havoc on our cells and can cause diseases. So we want antioxidants, things that are like in the berries, um, to help us fight diseases and things like that. Um, so the berries are um, you know, a big one. Berries are also, people don't know that they're high in vitamin K. And vitamin K is a nutrient that's necessary for responding to injuries. When folks are at the grocery store, should they, does it matter if they get fresh or frozen berries? Hmm. I'm glad you asked that question. Um, that's a, I get that question all the time, fresh or frozen. Um, I say when it's not in season, definitely go with the frozen. They're usually picked at their highest right point. So they'll still have the nutrition, and if they're frozen, they're going to hold in those nutrients. So my other thing about superfoods is when I when I think about what a superfood is, I want it to have the highest nutrient content. So that just means trying to eat with the seasons too, um, as much as possible. Because if your food has to travel a long time to get there, it's going to lose nutrition in that process of traveling to the store if it's out of season. Um, but actually, I mean, so that's why in that case, frozen is even a better choice. Oh, great. Okay, great. So what's our next uh, superfood that we're talking about today? So beets. Um, beets are, they, I wish I, I actually had some beets I wanted to show people because they can be a little intimidating when you see them in the store. They got like roots coming out of them and they're kind of like they have dirt on them and there's, you know, the greens that come off of them are really long. And my husband ate them. So I unfortunately can't share them with you today. My beets that we have in the fridge, if you don't feel like going through the whole thing of cutting up the beets, cleaning them, cutting them up, having to store them, which can be kind of time consuming. Beet juice is a really potent source uh, of vitamins and minerals. And what beets are really actually known for are boosting stamina. There's been a lot of studies shown that when, uh, you know, when athletes, when people are given beet juice to drink, before endurance exercise, they can go for a longer period of time without getting tired. Wow. Um, beets are so good. I like to think of the color. For one, they're, they're shaped like almost like a heart. So I also like to think of them that beets are good for cardiovascular health. And the deep, rich red color of them are also good for um, healthy, healthy red blood cells. Uh, so it's interesting to me to see how, how nature has kind of designed certain vegetables that kind of gives us clues to why they're 
beneficial to us and our bodies. That's really neat. I, I love beets. I actually have some in the fridge right now. Um, and oh, I, I eat them all the time. Uh, so, and I'll never forget you have that great, um, well, you have that great beet smoothie recipe, or maybe it was a juice. Really good. Um, and yeah, I'm happy to, you know, after this, if people want to share some recipes, I'm happy to do that. Um, and one thing I'll note about the beets, and this kind of goes to some of the berries too. I noticed this a lot with wild blueberries, which you can get, like we were talking about getting some things frozen, even from the store. There's, when you when you take wild blueberries, when you take beets, when you mash them up or cut them up, and they are they have a really deep dark color that stains really easily. Those are those really potent antioxidants that your body wants. Um, so that's another kind of good sign and good clue to know if you're eating a superfood. That's a great trick. Thanks. Um, so collards also. Um, I mean, really any type of green that you can get in your diet is great. Um, they are loaded with fiber to help with your digestion and circulation. Again, you get some vitamin, vitamin K in there which, and calcium, which is good for bone health. Um, and vitamin A also. So vitamin A helps us support our immune system and also our inflammatory systems. So again, I like to wrap things into a lot of times our bodies are inflamed, whether or not you have an injury and you might go into rehab or something, but even just with environmental toxins and things that we are exposed to on a daily basis, everyone pretty much has some inflammation going on in their body. Greens into our systems to help combat that better. Uh, and I think collards are actually kind of cool because like I showed you those big leaves. If some people are looking to cut out some grains or carbohydrates for different reasons, whether they may have a gluten intolerance, might be allergic, or they just want to cut out carbs for some weight loss, the collard greens are a great way to kind of use as a wrap or can be like made into a sandwich almost without having to use bread. So like we'll take them and I'll put in, you know, some cut up chicken or meat or whatever and throw some other veggies in there and it can kind of become a wrap and you don't even have to use, you know, a bread or something if you're trying to avoid that. That's an awesome idea. Thanks. So what do we have next on the list? All right, so I'm going to switch gears a little bit, and the next one I want to talk about are seeds. So this is a little bit of sesame seeds right here, and I just want to show you. I mean, these these little seeds are so small, um, but they're really underestimated. They have a lot of um, health benefits, and they pack a lot of nutrients in such a thing, which will probably last me a month or so, maybe even longer. It's two dollars at the store. So wow. again, you don't have to be spending crazy amounts of money. Um, and all you really need for serving is about a tablespoon. Um, so things like sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, um, these are also great sources of fiber. Selenium is another one. Um, they're good sources of iron as well. And iron is good for our blood health and musculature and tone, as well as magnesium. And one thing that's important really about magnesium, and it's really there's a lot of high content in different seeds again, um, but a lot of people that experience fatigue, muscle cramps, and things of that nature, a lot of times they might pop a pill and think, oh, I'm going to, you know, I'm in pain, I'm in pain relief. When really, actually, what they are probably lacking is some magnesium. So if you include some magnesium rich foods into your diet and help with muscle fatigue, cramping, things like that, and magnesium is also, again, good for uh, detox. And that's fantastic. And I love how you always go back to the age old quote of let thy food be thy medicine. And that's so true. And, and, and preventative mm -hmm. care and just taking care of ourselves. And thank you so much for breaking it down for us and reminding us that, you know, just because there's not a whole marketing campaign behind a certain food doesn't mean that it's not packed with really good things for us. Well, guys, thanks for watching today. Liz gave some great tips that you can start doing today. But if you're looking for more direction like that, to really take a look at your diet and make sure that you're living as healthy as you can, all of Liz's contact info is going to be below. And she's happy to take questions for you. So definitely reach out to her.